Hey everybody, Chris Eggleson here with GravityRanger.com and uh, thank you for tuning in to this tutorial. Uh, this is uh, another tutorial based on a user request. Um, user had asked a question, um, is it possible for me to import a thousand, I think it was, uh, coupons into Gravity Forms? Um, and the simple answer to that is no. Uh, you're probably aware Gravity Forms has a coupons add-on. Uh, which does allow you to generate coupons um, that can be used when selling products through Gravity Forms to to apply a flat discount or a percentage discount, um, and then a lot of other configurations. Uh, but in this case, Gravity Forms does not have a feature that allows you to import coupon codes. Um, you have to come in here, click on Add New, and do that a thousand times if you had a thousand coupons to create. Um, at least that was until. Um, today, when I was thinking about this request and, and, and how we could provide a solution, and uh, what I'm going to be showing you is, is how you can do that. Uh, we're going to be using two third-party solutions um, that will enable us to do this. It's basically going to take care of all the hard work. Um, one of them is free, and the other one is a paid solution. Uh, I'm not aware of any free solution um, to replace the paid option. So if, if this is something that you want to do, uh, you will need to use the paid solution. Um, or uh, create some custom code um, that will enable you to do it without the paid solution. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, this is the screen we're looking at right now is Gravity Forms coupon add-on screen. As you can see, I have no coupons currently. We'll go and refresh this just to make sure. Loading slowly. All right. So yeah, I have no coupons currently generated. Um, now, what are you going to need for this this tutorial for this for this to work? Um, you're going to need Gravity Forms installed. You're going to need the coupons code add-on. Uh, sorry, coupons add-on installed. Uh, now that does require that you have an elite or a uh, if you're old school developer license. Um, but um, anyway, you're going to need that coupons code add-on, and then these other two solutions. So let's go ahead and look into what these other solutions are. Uh, the free one that I mentioned is this one from GravityWiz. It's just a code snippet that allows you to create a coupon code in Gravity Forms coupons add-on um, when a form is submitted. Okay, And so you can specify which field you want to use to actually be the coupon code that's generated. Now, if you were to just use this coupon, this this code snippet, um, essentially you would have to submit the form a thousand times, okay, in order to make it work. Um, so again, we're trying to avoid this labor-intensive uh, requirement of of creating a thousand coupons one at a time, okay, and so. This coupon code, oh, sorry, this, I keep saying that, this code snippet from GravityWiz gets us halfway there. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we can access the coupon code right here, okay, from their GitHub repository. So we can copy this code, and then I'm using a functionality plugin called WP Codebox. Um, there's others out there, and I'll go ahead and link to a few if you don't have one that you're currently using and you you want to use a, a, a plugin instead of messing with your functions.php file. Um, but you can also add this code right into your themes functions.php file, okay? Um, if you don't want to use a plugin, that's fine. So I've copied this into WP Code Box here, and then I have to configure it. Now I'm not going to go too deep into this code snippet, how it works, and all the different functionality. Uh, the tutorial over here on Gravity Wiz, which again I will link to um, in the below the video somewhere, is very detailed. This tutorial, so it gives you a bunch of scenarios, a bunch of use cases, a bunch of ways to configure this code snippet. So I'm just going to go over how I have it configured for this specific use case, okay, based on the user's request. Um, so we have right here in this configuration section everything that we need. Um, the first question or the first bit here is form ID. So this is the form ID for the form you're going to be using to actually generate the coupon. Okay. So for me, it's form 17. If we look at form 17 here, you'll see it's just one field. Very simple. And the field is coupon code. It's just a it's a text-based, sorry, single line text field. Uh, and the ID is one, which we need for the next thing. 
which is source field ID. Now, mine again is one, which is because it's the only field I have, and that's the field that we're gonna be using as the coupon code. So whatever input is in that field when it's submitted is what's going to be used to generate the actual coupon code. And then the next bit here is name field ID. Um, so you could have another field in your form to give your coupon code an actual name. In this case, uh, again, these are all one-time use codes, so I'm not worried about naming them. I'm just gonna use the coupon code as the name, so it's the same field ID of one. Uh, this code snippet apparently works with Gravity Forms, WooCommerce, and uh, Easy Digital Downloads. So we're gonna specify what plugin uh, we're creating the code for, and in this case, it's Gravity Forms, so we're gonna use GF here. Um, and then what type of transaction, or I'm sorry, what type of code is this? Is it a flat rate discount or is it a percentage discount? And in this use case, we're using a flat rate. Okay, so if this was percentage, we'd type percentage here. And then the amount of the, the coupon discount. And in this case, we're doing a flat $49, okay? Now, this next little bit, form ID again. In this case, this form ID you would use to specify which form you want this coupon code to work with. So in the Gravity Forms coupon code, um, sorry, in the Gravity Forms coupon add-on, you have the option when you create an add-on to say, hey, I want this to work with a specific field, or I'm sorry, a specific form, or I want this to work with all forms, okay? So in this case, by putting false here, I'm allowing this coupon code to be used with any form in Gravity Forms that has a coupon field, okay? Now, you can also configure this to set a start and expo date. In this use case, those aren't relevant, so I've just commented them out, I'm not using them. Um, the next one is, is coupon limit. So how many times can this coupon be used? Uh, and in this case, only once. Okay, so whatever number you put here is, is what the coupon limit amount would be. And then is this coupon stackable, which means can you use this coupon with another coupon in the same checkout? And in this case, it's false. So no, you cannot do that. Okay, so once I have that configured, I go ahead and save everything. And then I use this little button here to enable this code so that it's, it's functional. Okay, so that's done. Step one, I've got my code in and it's configured. Um, step two, is I'm gonna need another plugin, okay? So that other plugin comes from Gravity Kit and it's called Gravity Import. And again, this is the one that's not free, so it does have a cost uh, if you don't have a Gravity Kit uh, license. Um, but it's it, it's it's the this it's the heavy lifter, so it's it's what's gonna do all the work for us, okay? So that's why we're we're gonna use this. So I've got that installed. As you can see here, I've got Gravity Kit showing up right here. And so I have the, I have that plugin installed as well. I've got my form created, <clears throat> as you can see here, single field form, coupon code. Next thing I need is uh, I need to, I need a CSV file that has my coupon codes in it. So um, now I don't have any coupon codes. <clears throat> so in your case, if, if, if you have a thousand coupon codes or coupon codes or however many you have, um, you can just use those. But I went to chat GPT and asked it to create, I'm just doing a hundred coupon codes for me so I could demonstrate how this works. So I have my coupon codes and now I need to put them into a CSV file. So I'm just going over to Google Sheets and I'm gonna create a simple doc here. Sorry, a simple sheet. Now you wanna make sure that uh, your first row is a title field. Okay, if you just start putting codes in, if you just start, start putting your coupon codes in here and you don't put a title row, then uh, when you go to import this, it will, uh, it'll assume this first row is a title field so that first coupon code won't be input, okay? So I put the coupon there as a title and then I'm gonna paste in my coupons so you can see I've got 100 of them here. All right, so now to get this into a CSV, I'm gonna to go to downloads and then comma separated. Okay, so here we have it. You can kind of see that. <laughs> I've got my coupon code. So now the next step is the magic part. Let's go get this working. All right, so I'm gonna to go to forms, import, export. And you'll notice that we have a new option here. 
Now, if you're familiar with Gravity Forms and you've been to the screen before, you know that there's no default option for importing entries, okay? So this right here is being added by the Gravity Import add-on, as you can see here, well-branded. So now what I need to do is first thing is I need to drop my CSV file into here, okay? So it's got my file, and now it's asking me, do I want to use an existing form or create a new form, which is cool that it'll actually create the form in this process as well. But I've already got my form, so I'm going to use an existing form, and I'm going to look for coupon code generator. <clears throat> so now what it's doing is it's reading my file and grabbing all the information. So now I need to map my field to the data in the sheet. Um, so I only have one column in my sheet, which is the coupon, and I only have one field uh, in my form, so that's going to be easy to map. Okay. So now I'm going to continue with import, and it's going to ask me some questions that aren't relevant in this use case. Okay. So I'm not going to go into those. Um, I am going to leave this one enabled so that it processes even if there's errors, because I just want the whole thing to finish. Um, okay. So now when I cl click create, or sorry, when I click continue with import, it's going to actually run this import process, and it's going to create a new entry in that form for every one of those coupon codes. So it's basically going to submit the form a hundred times automatically. I don't, I only have to click one button. <laughs> um, so it's going to create the forms automatically. And then uh, what will also be happening in the background is because I have that code snippet configured, that code snippet is going to be running every time the form is submitted and a new entry is created, that code snippet is going to start generating coupons as well. So by the time this is done, when we come back to the coupon screen, I should have 100 coupon codes in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this process. All right, so we've got 100 records created. Now I can go view all these records and see them as entries for that form. But really what I want to do is go over and make sure I've got my coupon code. So I'm going to refresh this page. And there you have it. I've got 100 freshly created coupon codes working for any form, $49 flat rate, one-time use. Okay, bam. See how simple that is? Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. So this is pretty cool. A uh, great little workaround if you need to import a bunch of coupons um, into Gravity Forms so that you can start offering these discounts. Uh, hopefully you find this beneficial, useful, and you'll be able to use it. Um, even if it's just once, uh, it'll be worth spending the, the few dollars on the uh, Gravity Import add-on uh, so that you can save yourself all the hassle uh, and all the work essentially. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to use the comments wherever you're watching this video, whether it's on YouTube or gravityranger.com. Be sure, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, we really appreciate it if you subscribe, like the video, um, comment, let us know if this is helpful. Again, if you have questions or need help, let us know. We will reach out uh, and get back to you and help you out the best that we can. Um, and until the next video, have fun, be safe, and go build something awesome.